we have lesson four, uh, solving simple equations with multiplication or division and the multiplicative, well, that's easy for me to say, uh, proper of equality with whole numbers. So here, what we need to take a look at here is my original, here's the original equation, 6x equals 144. So if we do a quick refresher, what does it mean when a number and a variable are right next to each other? If you said multiply, that's correct. So if a number and a variable are right next to each other, that means I multiply. So how do I undo the multiplication? Well, I divide. So what do I have to divide both sides by? I divide both sides by 6 because my whole goal is to get x all by itself. In order, in order to do that, I just need to get 1x. Well, how do I get, if I have 6, how do I get 1? Well, divide by 6, six because 6 divided by 6 is 1. So 1x and, and x are the same thing. So now here I've got to divide 144 divided by 6 because I already did 6 divided by 6 and I'm left with just x. So 144 divided by 6 is 20, carry the 2, we'll call it 24. And then we'll check. So 6x equals 144. So we'll substitute in and we'll multiply to check. Oops. Sorry, I typed the wrong number in. So 24 times 6. So 4 carry the 2. Uh, that's 12, 13, 14. I was right. So we divided, so we divided each side by 6 to undo. And that's how we get the uh, to undo the division. I'm sorry, undo the multiplication, not division. So we undo the multiplication. Okay, we simplified. So then we go back, we go back and check. We replace x with 24. So I solved it here. We reworked it here. And that's what I came up with. Should we get all the boxes filled in? So 144 equals 144. Check. So again, these are uh, foolproof. Because why? Because you can always go back, plug it, and chug it. Okay, so plug it in and then chug it through and see what you get. Okay. So let's try this one. Solving an equation of multiplication. So we've got x divided by 3. So my equation, x divided by 6 and 3 tenths equals 9. Now, sometimes I just I just kind of forget, man, what does this really look like? So x divided by six and three tenths equals nine. So how so looking at the so rewriting the division problem like this, that helps me see that if I multiply here, I'll be good to go. Okay, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 6 and 3 tenths. So here, if I multiply both sides by 6 and 3 tenths, that's canceling it out. Because that's that undoes the division. So I get x all by, by, all by itself. So when I multiply here, 9 times 3 is 27. Carry the 2. 9, no, I'm just going to write it over here, be easier. 54, 55, 56, there's one, one, so that's where my decimal point goes. So 56 and 7 tenths is my answer. Okay, 56 and 7 tenths is my answer. X equals 56 and 7 tenths. All right, so let's take a look at the, uh, the next page over here. Uh, we are going to be translating a sentence into a one-step equation. So let's get our highlighters out and see if we can highlight anything. So the cost of a pay-per-view concert on television is $39.95.
five friends decide to watch the concert and they split the cost equally. So the question asks, what will each friend pay? Well, there's the total cost. Now I'm breaking it into five equal pieces. So this is what it looks like in, in just diagrams. So if we put it in numbers, five times C equals 39 and 95 hundredths. So basically what they, well, let's just type it in up here. So five C and then 39.95. So that's what the model represents. So again, here I have to divide both sides by five because I have a multiplication problem. So to undo the multiplication, I divide. So I'm going to write my division problem over here on the side. Seven. So that would be. Four. Oh, got a step ahead of myself. Got those numbers backwards. Five goes here, then the seven comes up there. And you remember Paul Abdul told me to move the decimal point straight up. Seven times five is thirty-five. I subtract forty. Bring down the nine. That's 9, 45, 4, I'm going to bring down the 5, that is a 9, that comes out even. So C equals $7.99, so each friend, they owe $7.99. Okay, so all I did took the total cost, which is right here, five C's, so five C equals $39.95. And I just solved the equation by dividing both sides by five. Okay. Uh, the next slide is the you try, so I want you to go ahead and uh, give the next slide uh, your, your best shot, and then when you unpause the video, you can see um, how you did. All right, so here's what I came up with as my answers, okay? I had P equaling 40, okay? I had 865 greeting cards, and I got P equaling 40 because I uh, divided both sides by uh, 8 tenths, okay? And then I multiplied the check. Here, I divided both sides by 35 cents, and that's how I got the 865. And then here, I multiplied the two numbers together, 10 and 1 and 5 tenths, and got W equaling 15. Okay, so that is how I came up with my answers uh, there. So that is solve simple equations with multiplication and division, uh, multiplicative property of equality with whole numbers, and translating a sentence into a one-step equation.